So I think the challenges today is the fast pace that COVID accelerated the e-commerce sector. Everybody was going to brick and mortar stores and it changed the whole behavior of consumers. And the warehouse and logistics centers had to react to that. Huge labor shortages, right? How do we get things out the door faster to our customers? I think you're seeing the trend just in robotics alone taking off exponentially. We have lots of issues with labor availability. We have a retiring workforce, so we're losing a lot of expertise. It's making it difficult to keep machines up and running on a consistent basis. The second main challenge they have is they want to meet sustainability objectives. But you know, how do you know if you're achieving those objectives if you can't see how much energy you're using? Where Schneider Electric plays in that is the complete portfolio of offers around our OEMs. We have a complete architecture we call ecostructure from connected products to the middle level of the edge devices to the software platforms that can cohesively weave all that together. Schneider Electric is striving to be that number one partner for sustainability, energy efficiency, but we also strive to support our, our customers from an engineering perspective. So from a pre-sale support, we provide free engineering and partnership with our OEMs to make sure that they are designing with our hardware and software to make sure that the machine that they are going to end up providing to their end user meets the needs. We want our customers to be able to adapt to the future business needs quickly, rapidly, without losing downtime of the machines and increasing uptime of the systems. In the past, we had heard a lot of stories about robotic systems interfering with humans in the workspace, so we caged them in to make sure that they're safe and away from humans. With this step in the life cycle of robotics, specifically in the articulated section, we don't need to do this anymore. I can, whenever I want to interact with that machine, I have no resentment on working with it. It bumping into me, I bump it into it. That's all safe. I think that's the next step to working with our machines. So with the Machine Expert Twin, customers are able to both simulate and emulate the logic that goes into building their machines. With the Machine Expert Twin, they're able to import CAD models that are statically built in, say, SolidWorks or AutoCAD, and drive and combine the logic that they've built in for their PLCs and controllers, and bring their machine to life to create a truly digital representation of a physical machine that might be yet to be. Today, you do most of your commissioning digitally, and so when you actually make it to the customer's factory, the installation and commissioning time is greatly reduced, sometimes up to 60%. We're the leader in this area because we have the most complete offering in the industry. We also have very talented people that can support that offering as we go forward and help our customers in that journey to understand what their needs are and how we can work with them and our partners to help them achieve the goals that they need for their business to sustain.